We're not the world's greatest country, Professor. That's my answer. You're saying? Yes. Let's talk about it. Fine. Sharon, the NEA is a loser. Yeah, it accounts for a penny out of our paychecks, but he gets to hit you with it any time he wants. It doesn't cost money. It costs votes and airtime and column inches. You want to know why people hate liberals? Because they lose. If liberals are so fucking smart, how can they lose so goddamn always? And you, with a straight face, you're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome because we're the only country with freedom? Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. Like 207 sovereign states in the world, 180 of them have freedom. Oh, and sorority girl? Yeah. In case you walk into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. One of them is there's absolutely no evidence to support your statement that we are the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, we're 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality rate, we're three in household median income, number four in labor force, and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. The number of incarcerated citizens per capita, the amount of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are our allies. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college student, but you are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation period, ever period. So when you ask us what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yosemite? We sure used to be. We stood up for what was right. We fought for moral reasons. We passed and struck down laws for moral reasons. We waged war on poverty, not on poor people. We sacrificed. We took care of our neighbors. We put our money where our mouths were and we didn't beat our chests. We built great big things made ungodly technological advances. We explored the universe. We cured disease. We cultivated the world's greatest artists and the world's greatest economy. We aspired to intelligence. We didn't belittle it. It didn't make us feel inferior. We reached for the stars. We, we acted like men. We, we didn't identify with who we voted for in the last election and we didn't scare so easily. We were able to do and be all of these things because we were informed by great men, men who were revered. First step in solving any problem is admitting there is one. America is not the greatest country in the world anymore. Enough?